Tonight, the yellow fever mosquito has been discovered on the west side of Madeira. The mosquito is not native to California, but it is common in the southeastern United States. Action News reporter Carlos Saucedo shows us why this tiny pest has officials worried and the efforts to stop it. The yellow fever mosquito was found here in Madeira inside one of these traps. Now officials are trying to aggressively eradicate these mosquitoes before they become a bigger problem. This is a picture of the yellow fever mosquito found right here in the Central Valley for the first time. The Madera County Mosquito and Vector Control District identified the tiny black and white mosquito in one of its traps. It's very important to remove it from this area before it gets started, before it forms a colony. On Thursday, the district started placing more of these mosquito traps throughout Madera. You'll have the mosquitoes flying around the trap and there is a fan down here. And once the mosquitoes like fly in here, they'll get stuck in to the net. The mosquito is a very aggressive day biter that can transmit dengue, yellow fever, and other viruses that can be dangerous. A lot of our mosquito species usually bite in the late afternoons, early mornings. This particular one will bite all day long. Inspectors are now trying to eliminate the tiny pests that tend to lay their eggs around small places with unattended water. It likes uh, like flower pots, tin cans in the backyard that have water, the sprinkler leaves water in. It could be uh, Coke bottles. We found some in Coke bottles. And if you have a mosquito problem, call the district. We'll come out and check for mosquito sources. And uh, we'll also if, uh, we'll put a trap in the area and we'll send it out and have it analyzed. And officials with the County Mosquito and Vector Control District say if you were bitten by a mosquito and have flu-like symptoms, your best bet is to get it checked out with your doctor. Reporting in Madera, I'm Carlos Salcedo, ABC 30 Action News.